Kara, so here is the pre-lab for the molar volume of a gas lab that we just did. Um, and just going through the four pre-lab questions, and these calculations that were in the pre-lab are really similar to the calculations that you'll have to do in your post-lab questions, or at least a few of them. Um, so here we go. Our reaction begins with 0.028 grams of magnesium with an excess of hydrochloric acid generated uh, 31 mils of hydrogen gas. The gas was collected by water displacement, just like what we did in a 22 degrees Celsius water bath. Barometric pressure in the lab that day was 746 millimeters of mercury, so that's kind of low. I'd guess it was storming outside this day. Use Dalton's law, the vapor pressure of water at 22 degrees Celsius, to calculate the partial pressure of hydrogen gas in the collecting tube. So the first thing is just to calculate the pressure of hydrogen gas. So if you remember, the total pressure, which in this case is the atmospheric pressure, is going to be equal to the pressure of the hydrogen, which we are needing to find out and the pressure of the water. Well, the total pressure, like I said, is atmospheric pressure, so 746 is equal to the pressure of our hydrogen is going to be X, plus if you look this up on a table like page 899 in your textbook, you will see that the partial pressure of water at 22 degrees Celsius is 19.8 millimeters of mercury. Therefore, the pressure of hydrogen gas is going to be 726 millimeters of mercury. Moving on to the next question. Use the combined gas law to calculate the corrected volume of hydrogen gas at STP. And make sure you watch your units for temperature, because remember temperature always has to be in Kelvin, and make sure all of your units for pressure match each other. So remember that the combined gas law is P1 V1 T2 equals P2 V2 T1. And in this case, list everything out, P1, V1, T1, P2, V2, T2. Our first pressure was the pressure that we just calculated on the slide before, 726 millimeters of mercury. Our volume was the volume that was mentioned in the paragraph on the last page, the 31.0 milliliters. Uh, our T1 was the room temperature, 22 degrees Celsius. Remember, it's got to be in Kelvin, so that's 295 Kelvin. Our second pressure, they want us to know the corrected volume at STP. So STP pressure is one atmosphere. Or, since this guy's a millimeters of mercury, I'm just going to put 760 millimeters of mercury. Uh, our second volume is what we're trying to calculate for. And our second temperature, standard temperature, zero degrees Celsius, or 273 Kelvin. So rearrange this guy to solve for V2. And you get that V2 equals P1 V1 T2 over P2 T1. Plug your numbers in. 726, 31. 273 divided by P2 was 760, T1 was 295. Plug this into your handy little calculator, and you end up with 27.4 milliliters. Next page. Now I want to know what's the theoretical number of moles of hydrogen gas that can be produced from that 0 0.028 grams of magnesium. Well, whenever something asks you to calculate the theoretical anything, you know you're going to be doing stoichiometry. So we need to start with the 0 0.028 grams of magnesium. And we need to convert that to moles of hydrogen. So the molar mass of magnesium is 24.3 grams every one mole and then the mole ratio of magnesium to um, magnesium to hydrogen is one to one so for every mole of magnesium we're going to get one mole of hydrogen that works out if you need to see it magnesium plus hydrochloric acid yields magnesium chloride plus hydrogen gas. Remember, this is MgCl2 because according to the Hill oxidation numbers, 
Magnesium will have a plus two charge. Chlorine will have a negative one. So to balance those charges out, you gotta have two chlorines to every one magnesium. So to balance this thing out, you just need to put a two there and you see that this is a one to one mole ratio of magnesium to hydrogen. So I made my line just a little bit too long there. That's all right. Plug this in your calculator and this works out to point zero zero one two moles of hydrogen. Last pre-lab question. <clears throat> Take that corrected volume of hydrogen, which was 27.4 milliliters, and divide it by the theoretical number of moles, 0 0.0012, of hydrogen to calculate the molar volume of hydrogen at STP. Now this is called, since this is standard temperature and pressure, when you calculate the molar volume of a gas at STP, it's called the standard molar volume. And this is actually a constant that you guys will learn about um, in the next couple of sections that every single gas, not just hydrogen, but all of them, oxygen, carbon dioxide, you know, helium, all of the gases have a standard molar volume of 22.4 liters per mole. And the whole point of this lab is to prove this number right here. So since we want our units to be liters per mole, we need to go ahead and convert 27.4 milliliters to liters. So you just go one, two, three, and get 0 0.0274 liters. So we're gonna take that 0 0.0274 liters, divide it by our 0 0.0012 moles, and according to this data, we calculate out 23 liters per mole. Remember in science, close counts, and that's really close. Uh, in your lab, you guys might even get closer, so kind of look forward to seeing that. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, you know how to reach me. Send me an email or talk to me in the morning, something like that. See y'all tomorrow.